By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Oh, I can't wait. Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up before night back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Send any men you find to the jackdaw. I'll put them to work. Cheers, Ade. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano.
You're a crone sinner. Either way, Jack, just accept it. Attack the not listen to me. Please, do what I say. Captain Kenway, just in time. I'll see you back aboard. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy.
then, Kenway. Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. There's a prize worth taking? Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft mind. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseen them from prick to stone. Fire what cannons you will, and land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake don't sink. It's no fun fishing co- Tango un buen dia, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, senor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day.
¿Puedo ayudarlo con algo? Bad take today. Keep this up, and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Light proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, 
We'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Sparsals, let's ride this squall! Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? Shall die! That's a sound I like to hear. Time to corner. All hands to cannon! Careful around the navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels. Fine, good thinking. Awaiting your mark, Captain! Yeah! That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. 
Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. See the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. I can keep the heat off for a fee. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, Todd. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. A plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. 